guys, it's Amber and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. Today we are back with <laughs> sweet little Helen. She took off immediately to go get into the shower. But we are back in the 100 Baby Rags to Riches household. In the last part, we moved into our new tiny home or our cheated tiny home. Don't go in there, Indigo. Nooch. The insistence on walking in and seeing other people using the toilet is just too much for me. I need to step on this desk buddy because he's going to be causing me problems. Okay, and then we'll have Misty come out and let's have her serve breakfast for everyone. We'll just do eggs and toast and then that way Indigo can go in here and use the toilet because she's thinking about diapers. Girl, why are you think about diapers? Are you going to go on yourself? Because you can't be pregnant, sweetie. Only one person in this household gets pregnant. Isn't that right, Misty? And look at your ghost still just whoo. She is in her second trimester, so we should have the baby or babies in this part. Um, so I think we'll be able to play through a couple of days so we can have our baby. I did do a little bit of redecorating again for the house. I kind of mostly just changed the color palette a little bit. Um, I went with more like blues, I guess. I don't really know why. I was just feeling it. I was also able to get a second like love seat here in the living room area because this door was right here so I moved it over to this side so that way I could fit a couple of couches right there. Um, I changed the toddler room to being over here um, just because I thought it'd be good to have them closer to Misty. So I made this room the toddler rooms. So we've got four toddler beds, three little potties, got some rugs and some blocks in their room. I did also petition off a baby's room so we'd be able to fit two babies in here if we have more than that we won't be able to fit them but i did go ahead and do that um it's kind of random because it literally is just an archway that goes towards the bathroom but i like having it because it technically means they're in a separate room so they won't automatically wake her up i'm pretty sure this is a new bed for her i thought this one was cute um i changed around this bathroom a little bit as well i just went really dark with it and then these are just the two rooms for the teens and kids. So night lights in everywhere just to make sure. And I think I changed up the colors for this as well. So that's pretty much it. I think that's all the changes I made in the last part to the house. So all the kids are going into school. I didn't really look at their needs, but they're okay. So hopefully um, they will do good. Let's have them study hard. I don't actually know how close the teens are. Okay, so she's a B student, but she doesn't have enough skills, and he doesn't either. So actually, you guys, y'all can just be normal. Y'all don't have to study hard. I think Helen also, because she also doesn't have enough skills. So we'll just let everyone work normal, because there's no way we'll be able to get any of them aged up today, just because they don't have the skills they need. The house is kind of a mess. Um, we still don't have any toddlers, so Misty does just get to kind of chill at home by herself, which is good, but she definitely needs to clean up. She's actually doing, like, look at these needs, immaculate. Okay, so let's just have her put this away and then get the house cleaned up, and then maybe we'll start working on next father um, for the babies, because even if she has triplets, we will still have one more space so we should be able to get her pregnant again as soon as she has this baby because i'm trying to avoid her aging up because she it does say she's supposed to age up i think i have aging turned off while pregnant but i'm not 100 percent. so i guess we will see i'm sure i do though because she's still a young adult so we will see i'm trying to just like push back her aging into an adult as much as i possibly can so we'll see what we can do Someone knocks over our trash can in this save so much. Like, I I don't know if it's somebody that Misty, like, had a baby with their husband or what. I don't know why people are so upset about it. But, like, they're always knocking our trash can over. And I don't like that. I think Misty's a great little bean. She's not the biggest fan of, like, you know, being faithful. But still, you know, 
I don't want a job, Paka. Look at all that money. That's beautiful. Gardening is like so OP for money making in this game. The only bad thing about this house, I really like it, but we do only have two bathrooms and they're both on the same side of the house. And sometimes with this little pregnant bladder, we just can't make it all the way over there. Is that Makoa? Oh, it is. He aged up like literally what, right after he got us pregnant, but that's okay. It, it's fine. He doesn't have to worry anymore. We won't, we won't do him like we did Johnny. We already have his babies, so he's safe with us. It's getting a little bit hard because there's a lot of elders and I just, I think maybe the elders can't get us pregnant. So, oh, that does mean we don't have a baby with Don. That sucks. I feel like that's such a classic baby to have. Like, you know Tomax? I know he's a spellcaster. I'm pretty sure. So uh, that might be cool. We have another chance to have a little bit of a ma magical baby because neither of the twins, even though their father is Simeon, they don't actually have any spellcaster abilities. So we'll see if we can try and have us at least one magical baby also she's making a vegetable chili which i think is pretty cool because i actually need to make some elisa's here she just got in my tub fully dressed i don't really understand and then tomax just came in and literally cleaned out my fridge is he neat what's up let's try and <laughs> get to know him because i'm just curious to know if he's like neat if that's why he came in and cleaned out the fridge because that's that's pretty nice but i just wasn't expecting it okay she's going ahead and getting started on her homework he's super super stressed so he just he's not gonna want to do his homework yet and that's fine we'll let him let him play some games tomex does have the sage archetype and then he does have one more but we don't really care that much we don't have to get to know these sims that well considering and then we'll let helen do her homework as well i think maybe she was reading under the covers that's cute y'all saw that right y'all see that over there in the corner of my screen elise is here making out with the man I invited over here to get us pregnant. Elisa is really, you know, in the last part she was flirting with Makoa. She is really trying to have a hundred baby of her own. And while I, and I love that for her, I really do. She's really starting to block me a little more than I, I feel like my child should. I'm not, I'm not loving it. Okay, so this one's Joel as well. I feel like Joel is the one that's been needing the most things. So we're gonna go with manners because besides responsibility, that's the easiest one to go with. I. Girl, you just walk around here in a towel with... Okay. He's pretty upset as well. Also, Misty, this is not in the best taste for you to just come here and cook a meal only for yourself when you have... I mean, I think I have like 11 kids, but you know, four in the house right now. Three in the house right now that rely on you. Like, come on, girl. I guess he didn't want to play a game, so that's fine. Um, is this your homework? No, it's not. It's Indigo's. Did you finish your homework? No. Do your homework, please. Is that Ash? Hi, Ash. Come in. Hey, Tomax loves the outdoors. And I guess she learned about a koi. Do you consider me someone that you can trust? Oh, Indigo got a sentiment for Alisa. And Tomek says he does trust us, so that's good. Everyone's having like a good conversation, a good time over here. I think maybe we have... If I check the neighborhood action plans... Yeah, we do have free love enabled, which I'm pretty sure is why... Alisa keeps flirting with all these random people. <laughs> this little bean just finished her homework, but we'll let her do extra credit because... It was kind of working on mental for her skill anyways, so we'll let her do extra credit so we can get that a little bit higher. Um, 
I don't no, you're dead. I don't we don't need to go on a date. Come on, Ash, come in. There we go. I love Ash. He's my first little my first child. He's still a young adult. I always get kind of worried that they're gonna like age up before she does. Um, because obviously we've been pausing her pregnancy or her age a lot with her being pregnant so many times, but that's okay. Elise is getting dressed. Do love that for her. Let's see. Let's try to do. Let's try to work on a little bit more interaction with Tomax. And Thu's about the outdoors. So I think he loves the outdoors. Oh, she got a sentiment. You're so much fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you, and I hope you feel the same way about me, too. I was actually kind of sad when Misty gets sentiments for about these men, because, like, girl. That's not how this works at all for you. Plus, this man already is, you know, married. So, he's probably not the one. Indigo keeps telling me she's craving something sweet. Okay, well, now she's talking to her kid, so. You can have... Uh, if she's craving something sweet, we'll let her go ahead and make some sugar cookies when she gets done with her homework. I would say maybe she can have the baking skill, but I swear the baking skill goes up so slow. Oh, Missy just came over and autonomously started helping her with her homework. Y'all, that's so sweet. I don't think I've ever seen her do that before, so I'm pretty impressed. And Indigo is now in the responsible trait. So let's boast about family to t Mr. Tomax. See if he would like to be a part of this family. We won't complain about pregnancy cravings because I don't. I think she's fine. Happy birthday, Indigo! Do you mind if I come make you a cake? Um, we'll share people person tips with him. I I know that means that Finn's gonna come make her a cake, but like. It's not her birthday. It's, it's not even close. What are you doing? I thought you were going to come make cookies. I guess you can just have some of this cake that Finn's about to come make. That'll be sweet. You're not super tired. I don't really feel like you need to be asleep yet. Um, let's see. What skills do you have? So you just have comedy. You do need a skill, and I kind of really loved knitting when we did it before. So let's go ahead and knit a beanie. You can knit, you wear pink, so you can knit this pink one. At least it's kind of jocking the rocking chair, which would help boost your skill a little bit. But, Ben, Ben, I'll let you come over here. And say you were gonna cook me a cake. What are you doing? Practice flirting. No. Mm -mm. Here, you can just practice speech. We can work on your charisma. Y'all, I love this outfit. Like, it's so cute. Look, he's got such like a. He's got an interesting style. I really like that. I like, I like the way it came out for him. Yeah, I'll chat with Denim. Okay, so there's the cake that Finn made for Miss Indigo for her birthday. Also, it's a little bit, it's it's a little bit rude that he came and made a cake for Indigo's birthday because her and Joel are twins, so it should be for both their birthdays. But she was saying she wanted something sweet, so I will let her take a piece of cake when she gets done knitting. She does not want a piece of his cake, which is fine. You know, Helen's a good, responsible bean. She doesn't want cake. Denim spreading gossip about Helen. Dylan, Denim, come on. Don't call your mom to gossip about your little sister. That's rude. I'm guessing that Tomax left while I was distracted by literally all of my kids, which it's way easier to do all this when the kids aren't here. So I'll just let Misty. Actually, let's have her use 
Use the potty and then go to sleep. Okay, she is still working on her beanie. She's already up to knitting level two. And Joel has actually reached charisma skill level two. So we'll let her stop. She can eat a piece of cake. It's getting a little bit later. He's done this. Has he done his? He has not done his homework. Okay, you have to do your homework. Sorry. You go do your homework. I know Helen's done her homework. She's actually done everything she needs to do. I feel like they keep laughing at Joel, but I don't know why. I don't think he's doing anything. So I don't know why they're laughing at him. But he needs to do his homework because the other the girls have done their homework. So he needs to get on that. So we'll let her put away this cake. Y'all, did Ash come here and take a... What is with my kids coming in my house and taking baths? Like, y'all don't live here anymore. You can't just come in here and take a bath. That's not cool. We'll just let Helen go to sleep. And when she gets done with her cake, she can use the toilet, take a shower, and then she can also get to sleep. I feel like you're taking a bath and not a shower like I told you to. You're taking a bubble bath. Okay. All right, sis. So not what I told you to do. Go take a bath. My bad. Just go to sleep. You've had enough bath now. I just can't. Are you still not done with your homework? Joel, come on. Okay, now you just go to sleep. You can't, uh, you'll have to eat in the morning because you spent all night working on your homework. All right, Helen's the first one awake again. So we will let her go over to use the potty. Um, Maybe we'll let her have a quick shower before school this morning as well. She doesn't really need much um her needs are really good i guess we'll just do like a quick shower i put out some breakfast for everyone but she's really not hungry maybe she can work on cleaning up some plates for me she also does need still to finish up this mental skill which we may just work on that this morning because i think that if we get that she may she'll probably be able to age up in this part or today actually Oh, it was super early when she got up. I didn't realize how early it is. It's only 5.30 now, so she got up way early. But that's okay. Helen's our little morning bean. She can come play doctor. Okay, Misty is super hungry, but also has to go potty. Please just use this toilet, because people don't use it very much. I actually put this food out because I knew that Misty was starving, so we'll let her... Come grab a serving of that. She is in her third trimester, so she'll probably give birth. Oh, it's harvest fest. The kids aren't gonna go to school. I could change it to make it to where they have to go, but I think it's it's kind of nice that they have to go. I mean, it says she has class in two hours, but it says a day off, so I think it's kind of nice that they don't have to go, so I probably won't change it. I'll, I'll let them stay home today. That way we can let the teens work on skills um because that's the skill for helen so she's got all the skills she will need and let's just put up decorations there we go those are cute i like it okay so uh, that's everyone getting at least one tradition checked off they shouldn't be too upset with the holiday no matter what and then we'll have misty cook a grand meal too Helen doesn't actually care about decorating, I guess, because she's a child, which I think is kind of weird. Like, I feel like children love decoration, so I don't know. We'll let her try to appease the gnome. We'll give it, let's give it pie. Because I like pie. So why wouldn't the gnome? You know? Okay, it literally ran away, but we put the pie out for it. So she accomplished the tradition, and that was all she really needed to do to accomplish the holiday. He didn't like it, though. He did not like the pie. 
Um, you guys know the deal. We'll always, always raise responsibility. He didn't like pie. I don't understand why, how, why you wouldn't like pie. No, what's up with that? The worst thing about them not going to school is that I was kind of gonna try to like get a man's over today, but it's not really gonna work now, is it? It's only 8 a.m., so I want to have like a a dinner party with all of our kids today for Winterfest, but I don't feel like that's gonna work because of. Well, that's not true. I, I'm, I want to try to do that, but I have to wait until it gets a little bit later. I mean, we could do like a lunch party. I feel like for holidays, I'm always just like ah. eating at lunch as opposed to ah. any like dinner meal. Like, I feel like you just eat like one meal like during the middle of the day and that's like, that's it for the day. So it's kind of what I'm thinking for them as well. We'll just replace this because we have money right now. Wow, look at that. Look at that belly. Like, that is... That is very unnatural, Misty. That is... That's crazy. What is he doing? Air guitar. Okay. I'm assuming that came with Slice of Life, but I've actually never seen it before. So I don't know how... Like, if he just does it whenever. Oh, good. Power conservation day is now in effect. All power will be turned off for the next 12 hours. I hope you've got nothing planned. Okay, do you think we can try to get... Let's try to get a grand meal made up before potentially the power goes out. Because I really want... I do really want us to be able to have a grand meal today. Like... It'd really stink if we couldn't. I'll replace that as well. So I guess telling me the power's out, but it's definitely still on. So let Misty cook this grand meal and then we'll invite the, all the kids over for like 12. I don't think I can plan a social event for today. Just because it's a holiday. Okay, here we go. Let's add a dinner party. We'll host, have Misty host it, and then we'll invite over all of the kids. So, I mean, these three, obviously. Helen, Brione, that's Holly, my bad. Holly, Denim, Fan, Ginger, Elsa, Carter, and Ash. That is all of our kids. Caterer, we won't have a caterer. And then we will start this, let's start it at 2 p.m. Okay, so we'll have a dinner party today for Harvest Fest. And Missy's just gonna go ahead and get the grand meal cooked. She'll probably end up having to cook something during the party just because I feel like in a dinner party it always asks you to, but we'll just let her go ahead and have this ready. And she is putting in work on this ham. Do you guys see this? I'd let Misty cater my party anytime, boys. I do feel like that's probably not the best way to baste it, just cause like, I just feel like we're, we're doing a lot more than we need to be doing. But that's whatever. Let's go ahead and put this away for right now. I think this may technically actually not be enough food for all of her kids either. Let her come and use the toilet. I feel like Joel's gonna need to do the gnomes because that's kind of one of the only things he cares about, so. Honestly, we'll let him plead for forgiveness. But if it doesn't take it, I think we just kick the gnomes. Like if it shocks him, I say Joel would just be like, kick him. Oh, it did. Okay, nice. So let's throw this away. I kind of feel like it's best to just kick the gnomes, to be honest, though, because they just like are going to litter this lot so much. We'll let Misty come and give the gnome coffee. You know, Misty's a a single mom of 10. Coffee's like her life fluid. Do you like it? He didn't like the coffee. 
Okay, Joel is also now in range to be responsible. He did he did not like it. He was not impressed. We're having a baby shower. No, Ash, we're not having a baby shower. You literally, you know that we're having a family get together. So that's what we're going to do today. Oh, someone set the table. I don't know which one, did, which one of them did it. You know what? I will donate to charity. Less for the fame, because I'm pretty sure I have Misty completely out of the spotlight for fame. But just because she struggled, you know, at the beginning of her life, she was really struggling. Y'all heard that lightning too, huh? Y'all think Indigo got struck? Because I, I, I feel like that's probably what that was. I feel like the gnomes didn't. They didn't go for it. They weren't going. They weren't going for us there. Yeah, she's sick. Okay, you know what? That was my fault, Indigo. It's okay. You know what? Joel didn't do it, but you can. You. Oh wait, you can't even kick the gnomes anymore. What is this? Lame. I want to kick the gnome. It literally made me get struck by lightning and I want to kick it. That's not fair. I don't approve. Let's be thankful, even though he doesn't care. As I bought recent birthday. But really what I came here to do was work on his charisma, so. Oh, he has a sentiment towards his twin. It really means a lot to me that you make time for me. Just wanted to let you know. That's really sweet. All right, we have about an hour until the dinner party. Let's make sure everyone's looking pretty good. You can let Misty take a quick shower. Oh, wait a minute. It's a chop. Who's this man? I don't know you. Cheerful introduction. Get the shower, Misty. Business. Cause you know, we're really starting to run out of like classic townies and um, we need to meet some new friends. Is he selfish? Oh no, he's got the gesture personality type. And then he has something else, but she has, she has a possibility to complain about selfish sins to him, which is interesting. Well, he may end up being baby daddy number next because he's here. No, Denim, you're literally going to be coming over here in like two seconds. I need to get rid of these trash plants because I hate them. Here we go. No more trash plants. Can you also get the mail? You have some things to do, that's fine. Yes, let's get started with our dinner party. Are you glad to be in my life? Of course. Okay, so let's go ahead and get out our grand meal. And we'll call everyone to meal. I don't know if I have any vegetarian kids. I kind of hope not. Let's have Misty call everyone to the grand meal. And this, of course, isn't a gold event just because it's a holiday, so. Happy holidays, Misty. Are you surprised to see me? Clement? Am I surprised to see you? Yeah. I am. And I don't see you. Are you still alive? Uh. He is wild. Ooh, oh, look at all of them sitting down to a little yeah. meal. I don't know what outfit everyone has on, but you can tell that I did not make. Um, I didn't dress everyone. <laughs> oh, there's Clement. Well, I mean, y'all can come in and get this food, or y'all cannot. I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm getting rid of these gnomes, too, because they're irritating me. 
Selling them. Selling them. Selling them. Harvest Fest is one of my favorites because we really make a lot of money on Harvest Fest, you know? Happy holidays, mister. Are you surprised to see me? What? Look, all the baby daddies cannot be showing up. See, I did obviously dress the triplets, though, in all their outfits. I say that. I, I don't know what Finn has on. I dress the girls, I guess. Either that or they just have some real... I think maybe I put styled looks on them. I really don't know. Because I feel like Ginger and Holly are the only ones whose outfits make sense. Like... Alisa girl, I don't know about all that. Ashes is actually isn't bad either. I might have, you know what? He had me right into the shoes. I was gonna say I might have picked that, but I did not pick those shoes. Helen's is cute. I think I picked Helen's. I didn't do indigos either, cause this doesn't make sense either. But whatever. I don't know. This might be their party wear. I'm not sure. I I never do party wear in like households of this size because. Why? Miss, did you come out here to talk to plants? Literally your entire family is inside and you came out here to talk to plants. Are you, are you for real right now, Misty Rags? Are you for real right now? Okay, you guys, you guys are still in need of some skills. So you're working on charisma, so you can come and sit here. I mean, I guess a friendly introduction to your older brother. I guess it's reasonable that he's never met him because I guess Ash was out of the house by the time he was born. But yeah, let's let's just do a friendly introduction, you know? Do you know Brion? No. Let's do a friendly introduction for her as well. You kind of got to know your siblings. Okay, don't sit on him. All right, whatever. Brighton Day, let's just work on anything that'll help with his charisma, basically. Ready, Brighton Day. Compliment our outfit, even though it's terrible. Just lie to her. Go lie to her. You, you do have some comedy skills, so why don't you tell a funny story to Denim? Because I feel like he's also kind of a more of silly sim. Like, I feel like he likes a good joke as well. So you can work on at least some comedy skill with him. And then Misty is literally taking a nap. I mean, she is really tired, so I guess we'll just leave her to it. Uh, no, 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 no. Wait. Wait. She's got to calm down. You've got to calm down. Yeah, you, you've got to calm down. Come on. Get that down. Okay, so now she's just silly. All right, and I think she'll probably be, okay, all right, I think she's gonna be good. All right, so the dinner party is about to be over. I think it was successful. I think the kids were able to have a good time together. I was glad to see all of my children. I definitely dressed Holly in every outfit because I have to put that strand in her hair, but I love it. Holly is still serving us absolute queen behavior. Why are y'all looking at Misty? What is she doing? What are you doing, Misty? I'm scared to have her work on comedy too much right now because she literally almost died. Let's do a... No, let's do a funny introduction. Funny introduction to Brion. And then Ash as well. So you can know him. Then both of them. Okay, so we got a jutsu used book as a consolation prize for the party, but like... It wasn't, it didn't give us any options for goals to complete, so I don't know what's up with that. Helen. No. I like never do this, but let's parent. Discipline, recent behavior, calm. Ask not to make a mess. 
Please. I don't feel like we ever really see Misty parent the children. She's always parenting like the babies, but she pretty much never parents her actual <laughs> like once they get to this age and they can take care of themselves they pretty much just have to okay you need to clean up the mess as well oh hey sweetie can you visit me today it would be nice to see you again oh that's her dad it would be nice to go see your dad but it's like it's like 8 36 at night Knox. No, we'll we'll go somewhere with him. At, we'll go somewhere with him at tomorrow, maybe, or maybe this weekend. This weekend, we'll let her go somewhere with her father, I guess. But you can go to bed. She's already in bed. Or you, you better be doing extra credit because yeah, you are okay. So you can do extra credit, and then you can also go to sleep. Power conservation day is over, and I don't think our power ever went out. But I won't. Complain about that because power conservation day is terrible. Okay, Indigo's Harvest Fest was okay. It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. Joel's was successful, and I believe Misty's was. Misty and Helen were also successful. So that's good. We had a good holiday. Anytime I can have a good holiday in The Sims, it's always. I mean, don't sit back down. Go pee. Oh, she's in labor. When did did it tell me she was in labor? Like. Okay, just now. I, I guess I just missed when it said that. All right. So Misty is in labor. Let's just come here and have the baby. I got, I remember to pull up my baby name. So like, it's like top tier for me. Hoping for twins, but I really don't want more than that. Okay, it's a boy and this is going to be our K name. So let me see. Let's see, Frolicking Gnomes recommended Corden. So uh, let's go with Corden. Okay, and we also have a girl. So this one's gonna be L. And I actually had two people, um, Pretty Pretty Plum Blobs, as well as Catherine recommended Luna for a girl name. And I really like that name, so. Let's name her Luna. Okay, so we just had twins. That's exciting. I'm actually really glad that the girl was second and so we got to use the name Luna because I was really, that was like one of my favorite names that I was recommended. So we have little Corden as well as Miss Luna. Who's crying? Corden is crying. So let's, let's, let's hit him with a little super efficient baby care because Misty got it like that. Okay, so we had a harvest fest with all the kids, and we had the newest members of the family. So we have Little Miss Luna and Mr. Corden. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I appreciate you as absolutely always. I will be getting Missy pregnant again in the next part just because we still have some more space in the house. Um, so you guys can go ahead and start thinking about M and N names as we're moving on forward. I don't know. Do you guys think we'll be able to make it all the way to Z with just Misty? You'll have to let me know down below. But I hope you enjoyed this part. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye.